Well, I think the uh, economy slowed down, uh, of course, uh, fuel prices, um, to some extent overcapacity, not necessarily in that order, but I believe those are the three main uh, uh, issues currently we are facing. Well, I believe uh, the biggest opportunities for the carriers are to uh, try to differentiate their products, uh, to try to be more innovative, uh, certainly to continuously uh, reduce the costs because uh, uh, we are currently facing uh, especially uh, serious uh, uh, problems on the short haul uh, European routes. Uh, where uh, the low-cost carriers are uh, increasing uh, their market share. Uh, therefore, uh, we believe that, uh, and especially in our case, uh, we are trying to find ways how to unbundle more the products in order to make our product much more attractive to, especially to leisure customers and to, uh, and to VFR uh, visiting rail conference. But on the other hand, uh, uh, I would say uh, we are developing quite well uh, in terms of our product mix. So uh, uh, certainly, uh, certainly um, increasing uh, potential uh, on the business uh, customer uh, needs and uh, focusing uh, on uh, increasing capacity on, uh, and uh, improving uh, our uh, product for the point-to-point -point customers uh, is also amongst the, the key uh, initiatives we are taking on. Uh, yeah, I think I think uh, ancillary revenues are uh, pretty much uh, the adjusted topic, uh, on, also including on this event. And I believe uh, it is uh, in our uh, next um, uh, strategy as well. Um, uh, I, I believe uh, most of the most of the uh, uh, of the ancillary revenue that uh, uh, we are currently focused on is uh, related to the uh, product-related uh, ancillaries uh, like uh, baggage fees, seat assignments, uh, and some other um, uh, airline-related uh, services, uh, including manage my booking and uh, offering uh, certain uh, devices and meals on board, etc. Uh, this is where we are planning to focus in the future in order to differentiate our products uh, as I said including Wi-Fi in the long term future because I believe on the short haul uh, uh, as most of uh, the, the companies mentioned uh, on the short haul European routes is not so attractive uh, product uh, and it's probably not returning the investment on the other hand we are also planning to include third parties uh, uh, and series into our into our portfolio like hotels rented cars uh, insurances Well, I think uh, the the biggest uh, the biggest efforts we are currently uh, uh, focusing on uh, is uh, customer uh, or guest uh, um, uh, uh, differentiation and focus on the um, on the customized services. So uh, practically, uh, merchandising uh, is uh, a key element uh, that we are planning to focus. Therefore, we would need technologies in this area. Uh, certainly, mobile technologies are going to play a major role uh, in the future. Uh, there's a big potential there. Currently, there are just 10% uh, of uh, uh, all uh, mobile phone users are using smartphones, and uh, I believe there is a huge potential out there. Uh, on the other hand, uh, we need to keep an eye on the return of investments. I think uh, I really enjoyed uh, the, uh, the event, uh, or still enjoy the event. It's really uh, a fantastic uh, opportunity to meet uh, like-minded uh, people and to discuss uh, various projects and to see how we can uh, contribute to uh, uh, making um, uh, flying much more attractive and much more um, affordable. Um, uh, on the other hand, to uh, find a ways how uh, the airlines can uh, make money because that's uh, main uh, uh, main topic uh, that we are getting here as well.